What is up guys, Son of Beast here. We're back for another NBA 2K21 of the NBA Playoffs. This time, this is the last game for the Bucks versus Nets before one team can face against the Philadelphia 76ers. Who will it be? The Bucks that we seen last season on NBA 2K20? Or will it be the newer face-off, Brooklyn Nets? Well, you're about to see what happens if there's a chance for them to find them out. It's a win or go home. Episode 47's out. It's the seventh annual of 2K TV Awards. So, what does it have to be? Well, there might not be a solution for them to be enjoying it. But in fact, if you'd like to see them, uh, how if you'd like to check out this uh, episode, make sure you watch right now. Let's head to Barclays Center and see what we got. 2K Sports welcomes to the following presentation of the NBA playoffs. As we're about to start off here at the Barclays Center. And we're ready to take it on to finish game seven of the night. It's a sudden death in between the second seed and the third seed. There might be a solution right there, but there's going to be a lot more different out there, as I already did talk about to David Aldridge and see what happens. So let's see what happens to him. Here's Dave. Uh, he will be on the sideline later then at that time. But it's time to get the games happening. We are ready to see who's going to face it off for this game seven here tonight. And we're about to find out who will win the whole thing. And this was the first time here in the second round. Well, there was no uh, second round of the game seven here at last season because of um, all the other teams are killing them. They're doing really well because uh, they don't have to worry about game seven and just work, do the whole thing. But now it's between the Nets and the Bucks. Who's going to win the whole thing? The Bucks win the tip off, and we're all fueled up, ready to go. Here's DiVincenzo. Middleton for three. Oh, he almost made it, but he didn't make it that time to make the shot. Joe Harris will take the ever lane. James Harden up. Two pointers good. It's James Harden taking his first bucket here in game seven. First rebound here tonight. And the commentators have turned off. We'll be back here with the NBA Finals. And we got a first foul on Brooklyn. Kevin Durant is first, number seven. And the first team foul is going to be on Brooklyn. Seems like Giannis on the Gupo. This has happened for real in life. And that's what happens here in game seven. I think the Deer Districts are outside right now on 2K, 2K uh, Sports or the, on 2K TV to check out who they want to win the whole thing. This might be happening sometimes if there is anything going on right now. I'm hoping the Sixers and the Nets because it's a one versus two battle, but I'm not sure if there's going to be enough for them to score. First shot for Anto the Kupo is good. And you talk about the Greek Freak here in Game 5. They have already won against the Suns. And they are on top of the lead, 3-2. to two. Well, Game 6 is going to be happening here on Tuesday right now. So you don't want to miss this out. And to enjoy 
most that they got. That's what they do most to get things better. And the second bucket's good. A lot of teams are having a lot of competitions out there, but there is more to get things underway. Here's James Arden. He passed off to Kyrie Irving. Irving missing out with the drive. Floater is good. Irving's got two in this game. Here's Drew Holiday. He will take a start from here. Almost took a reflection out there, just okay. Middleton up. The shot in and out, and it's, oh, it's a rebounding save for Brooklyn. Well done here. Harden out. Three James Harden! First three-pointer in game seven. Drew Holiday outside against Harden. Holiday to Antetokounmpo, he's up. Shot's good. Antetokounmpo gets his second bucket. Assisted by Drew Holiday. Irving on the wing. He got up top to Griffin. Right on Brook Lopez. Bounce pass to Kevin Durant. But the drive is tooked away by the Greek Freak. Well, first block here for tonight. Gotta watch out. Oh, it's onto the Kumpo inside the paint. Five minutes to go here for the first period. Here's Harden again. Joe Harris finds Irving outside. Three! Curry! Irving! Joe Harris will take his first assist here for the night in game seven. Girale over Harden. Missed out. It's Harris with the rebound. Harris right to Harden. Harden right over to Harris, but it's tipped away and knocked out. First turnover on Brooklyn. Here's Holiday. Shot's good. He's got another two-pointer here for this one in Game 7. Harden, on a, Harden out. Five points in this game. He never faced it out in his technical free throw here or taking the free throw at the free throw line since game number six. In the last game, Griffin, oh! Almost had it. Harden for the three. Three James Harden! Joe Harris, his second assist. Drew Holiday on James Harden, he drives, and we call a Brooklyn foul on James Harden. A lot of technical uh, fouls here are putting up a difficult time here on Brooklyn Nets and the Bucks, but it seems like that Drew Holiday is going to shoot his first trip to the free throw line. With only 3.44 left to go, news changes are coming after the first shot. Come on, Brooklyn, this is the next level. His first shot says make it in. Here are some new changes here for Brooklyn as Blake Griffin's checked out and Jeff Green is checked in. A lot of head coaches are complaining about this one. Mike Budenholzer and Steve Nash, his first NBA coach. That second free throw is good for Drew Holiday. Harden again. Eight points here tonight. Looking well done. Now here's Kevin Durant. He will try to take his second attempt here after following along with the block shot on Ante DeCoupo. Green with the screen. He goes right around it. Uh, but over. It's missed out. Brooke Lopez takes his first rebound here. Drew Holiday. Ante DeCoupo. Slam one hand dunk. Assist by Drew Holiday. Now first timeout is called by Brooklyn. 3.21 left to go. And not to mention here before how well they have played. Well, <laughs> it's not really good here for the, for, the, uh, for the fourth game in this game. Now they got it, now they got it all tied up. We got to see who wins the whole thing first before heading to the Eastern Conference Finals to take on against the Sixers. I know Sixers are waiting for a long time. I'm so sorry, guys, but 
this is all I had. Not to mention before, there is a lot more to get things down under it. And they gotta feel like they're on a roll again. Not too much to hear, and not even uh, enough to look for it. And here are new changes here for the Bucks. We have is uh, we have three guys for the three guys that are out: Arden, Irving, and Harris. Brown, Dinwiddie, and Irving moves over to point guard while the fives continue to get on the count. Dinwiddie right to Green, and this calls a offensive foul on Irving. And we're taking a look one more time. The Greek freak. Made his first block. He just slams it. Never mess with the Greek freak here because Kevin Durant lost the ball. It just it just hits over. And now a new change for the Bucks. Steven Chenzo and Brooke Lopez are checked out. Portis and Forbes are checked in for those two players. And now they're going to need to try to uh, keep it together. Here's Holiday. Scoring out of this big timing. And with just only three minutes left to go, Anza Takubo went inside again. He's got his number pointer of the night. Irving, right to Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie to Green. Slammed it down. Green gets his first dunk here to make a two pointer, and they are back in the lead. Durant against Andre the Kumpo. Uh oh. Yep. We know what was going to happen. Andre the Kumpo really wants to go back to the Eastern Conference Finals and face again. And try to make a rematch out of it. Oh, what a tough shot for Irving, but he makes it in. Seven points in this game. It's 17 to 16. Score. Holiday trying to work away around. The three pointer. That's good. He's got his team up by two points. Irving again tries the number one. Brown on outside. We got two minutes here in the first quarter. Green back to Brown. Green helps him out. Goes back to Green. And one! Portis with the foul. And it's assist by Bruce Brown. Green's got his first bucket here with the assist as he scored to the free throw line for his first attempt. And now Pat Connaughton will check in for Portis as the others. Andre Kumpo moves to the center and PJ Tucker checking in. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of complaints out there. Why is the Bucks always a great, great team on the game? I know they were the first seed the last time, but now they are just going to do it again. Now they change into a third seed to get in through. They want it all. And Green. No answer to that one. He makes this first free throw here. And now they're up by they're up by one. There's Connaughton outside against Brown. Over Forbes. And that is good for Forbes to take this first topping of the bucket. Field goals are tied right now, 73 percentage. In between for the Bucks and Nets. Green finding Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie! Leaving all alone, it's Green with the assist. And now they're in the battle between the between in and out. Durant against Honda Kupo. Oh, he just slammed it down. You can't help him out already. You can't just top it out. It just happens all alone. Bruce Brown. I think it's first layup. And that will be Dinwiddie's first assist here. First bucket here for Bruce Brown. Kind of in between working since back 2018. Here's Irving on Holiday. Marty Kubo trying to look good to attack it again. He wants to do revenge on him. Arnold Kubo missed the throw and he's off on the balance. Irving with the ball. Green out and again. Finds Irving. They're up by one still. Irving, Durant, Brown for three. Three! Bruce Brown! Kevin Durant. He's got his first assist here. 20 seconds to go, 27 to 23. 
There are, they're trailing by four on the Coupo, looking again. Ten on the shot clock, but ten seconds to go in the game clock. Oh, he keeps dunking every time, but he doesn't help out his team to go a wide open look. Grant, try to look it over again with a shot. Oh, he made the buzz beater. What a play here for Kevin Durant. And we got a good gaming to start the first quarter. We'll be right back here in the second quarter. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to get my flow down a lot for me. I'm able to know where my team is going to be. I'm able to get to my spots. And no, I know my spots. And uh, I don't score on accident no more. I score because I know, okay, I'm going to get to that spot, try to make a play for my teammate, or make a play for myself. We're playing that game. Andre DeCoupo has a lot of struggle hitting on the offense, but he always scores because what he has done is he's trying to get help on his team to give it a shot. It's not it's not really hard to get these things done, but that's uh but that's what I really want him to keep an eye on him. So Nicholas Claxton's checked in for uh, Kevin Durant as um, as new changes have begun here. Harden, no way, he just keeps scoring. Ten points in that run. And it looks like the first assist might be on Claxton. I'm not sure if it's if it's Claxton or if it's Jeff Green. Screen on Brook Lopez. Drew Holiday up. His first basket is off the mark in the second quarter. And here are the Brooklyn Nets up again, all fueled up, and they are ready to go here in the second quarter. Now it's 31 to 25. Dewey! Shots is missed. TJ Tucker with the rebound. Forbes trying to get back into the game. He goes up. He shots good. He makes a number two pointer here. And they're trying to get back into it. Biggest lead change is Brooklyn by six. Lead change is by ten. And tie was two. Jeff Green outside. Taking deep three. But it doesn't go in that time. They're telling the teammates to not shoot their open threes if they have a chance. But that's what the uh, simple way is. Forbes against Green. Pass to Lopez. He goes up. He makes a shot fake. Connaughton against Bruce Brown. PJ Tucker with the screen. Three seconds to shoot. He makes the shot before the shot clock expired. But the next timeout will be on Brooklyn Nets with 5.16 left. Expecting to see that Spencer Dinwiddie was able to, uh, to be able to recover his team and after an injury report, he has not been able to pick up a game that well because of how? Well, it's because of um, he's not able to do it well. Well, COVID issues, I don't know, but maybe this might not be the best time for him to give it a shot. And it gives out a hard timing to give him, a, to give him another run, but that is just way up. Man, and they really wanted to pick it all and just do it again. Yep, Bruce Brown is on the Pistons, first in 2018, and then Brooklyn Nets to make a transfer. 18, 19, and 20. So then, and then he moves across with, in 2021, for the 2020-21 season. But now he might be, still may be able to, uh, to keep, him a game, keep him in the game. We'll find out if there is any choice for him to give it a go. I know they haven't won anything, but only one in the ABA. New change here, as the Brooklyn Nets are making new changes. Drew Holiday, Forbes, and Connaughton are checked out. Middleton, as Connaughton moves the shooting guard, and DiVincenzo is checked in. Plus, on the Brooklyn side, we have his three players out. Griffin, Claxton, up in the point forward. Joe Harris up in two. Steps up. He doesn't hit that time. It's Steven Chenzo with a rebound. Milwaukee trailing by two, but it's Carlton slamming down. It's Steven Chenzo with the assist, and they're tied up by 31. Harden trying again. Now he goes back to Joe Harris. With a three. Three, Joe Harris. He never got his one before, but he finally had a Connaughton for three. Doesn't go in. Joe Harris takes up three rebounds here in this game. Harris right to Griffin. Griffin to Claxton. Claxton rolling over to Dinwiddie. 
with the drive. That's in there as well. Dean Whitty gets four points, three assists already, no rebounds at this point. We're only down to four minutes in the four, first half in game seven. Here's Connaughton against Harris. And all the, play, and all the fans going defense. But Connaughton slowly not giving up his timing, but this is what he has really earned since he played with uh, Notre Dame College Basketball for 2014-2015 season. Connaughton, no Griffin, making a layup drive and he gets first bucket here, number two. Now here's DiVincenzo, he's trying to tackle it again. No foul given up here on Brooklyn, but DiVincenzo got lucky he made that shot again. Harden out. New players are coming back. Um, returning players are coming back here on the court when the next changing whistle has occurred. Harden trying to work again. Oh, he slammed it right on Connaughton. Right around Connaughton. And this is not what you can't feel that the beer man is just killing it. Well, it's been like a big bang something. First timeout calls on Milwaukee. 2.53 left to go, and the players are going to make a new new, uh, new changing here on offense and defense. Well out there, just not even giving up that quite a time of it. Well play on that run. I'm bringing back Kyrie Irving in. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. 2-3 to three zone, let's make it more better here so we don't have to keep on man-to-man, -man. so we'll, we'll get that better. But here are the first steal, that was only uh, Brooklyn, uh, I mean Milwaukee and Milwaukee with one block. Only two turnovers on the Brooklyn Nets, but 13 assists was on the Nets, six on Milwaukee. Five rebounds on Milwaukee, eight on Brooklyn. It's a little bit hard to keep an eye on them, but that's just okay, you know? Here are some new subs changing here for Brooklyn. Right now, Irving and Durant are back in again to make a starting five. Right now, here's uh, Middleton. He takes a two, and he draws it in inside. They're down by three. And the same thing that goes with, uh, with uh, Milwaukee as Andre Kupo is checked in for Pat Connaughton, and DiVincenzo switches to shooting guard. Irving, oh, it's the Greek Freak with two blocks again. But now it's Harden. He just wanted to save it all in the first half. Connaughton against Irving. I mean, Anacupo against Irving. Holiday, and we got a reach and foul. It's on James Harden, his second. Steve Nash complaining about what just happened already, and this is not just looking good. Holiday. Try to just find a man to make a defenseman. But here's Ana Kupo. He takes another two pointer here and wants two minutes to play here in the first half. Harden finds Griffin. Harden moving over to Irving. He shoots up. Oh, he almost made it, but he did not angle to hesitate the game. Another shot goes in for Drew DiVincenzo. And they're down by one. They're going to get a close call here to get in between the game if there's a chance for him to keep an eye on them. Durant. Pass over to Griffin. Griffin right to Irving. Irving drives. And one! Drew Holiday received his first personal, first team foul on Milwaukee. With 1.19 to go right now, and Irving will go right to the free throw line to shoot one. Well played here at that point. His name is Uncle Drew. He's getting on the Space Jam. Oh, yeah. I like seeing him. I like that. And yes, I'm going to be with the Brooklyn Nets side for the next part of the season. I'm getting a break here on the Sixers. And you know who else? Animation Epic is also uh, getting a summer break here too with uh, Jack and Jellyfy. You know now because uh, they're going to skip uh, the video for one month at a time. But um, 
But if they skip a few more months, then there might be another chance for them to make it possible for them to keep it going. Right now, the second foul, it goes on Brooklyn. Blake Griffin received his second personal. And Blake Griffin really got, really got mad in trouble. Adekupo taking two shots here. It might be doing it for one last time. Not sure, but you might know. The first free throw is missed. New change coming back here is Forbes going for Drew Holiday. But well, one shot left coming in for Andre Kupo. He's getting a little bit stressed out to make it that point. Now, I'm not sure when you're going to mention it before, but that is just, man oh man, not even going to happen. His second free throw is good. Timeout on Brooklyn. With 1.11 to go. And my goodness, we're almost done with the first half right now. I don't know how, how long it's going to take. Not sure what's going to happen here, but this is going to be a very tough time for me to do it. But just a little switch up here before I can bring back in. Plus, no blocks here going in for, uh, for Brooklyn that time. I don't see anything yet to give it up on that run. So two blocks here from Milwaukee. And we got a we got a great rebounding save here for James Harden, but that's a lot of pressure to make a hard work out of it. A um, couple new changes here um, for offense and defense, Milwaukee and Brooklyn. Here's Kevin Durant. He passes over to Griffin. First three. And Griffin takes his first three-pointer in. Three. Forbes on Harris. And it's calls offensive foul on Milwaukee. It's Steven Chenzo with the legal screen. And now they are just going to turn it over into Brooklyn ball. Three players making changes. Green, Irving switches to point guard, and Bruce Brown is checked in. 43 seconds to go in the first half. 48 to 42. Green. Back to Irving, back to Green. He comes in. His shot was mixed off the mark. Even Chenzo out in the corner. It's good. It's going to be an assist by Deep on Giannis. Out to the Kumpo. Irving right to Green. Green back to Irving. He goes right to Durant. Moving around is Bruce Brown. Durant comes in for the screen with the shot off, and he doesn't able to make a rebound out of it. Another rebounding here for Milwaukee, and a shot miss for Giannis on the Kumpo. The first half is closed. Let's get you on the court side here as David Aldridge stands by. Let's get you over here, David. Kevin here with Coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, probably not the defensive effort you were hoping for thus far. Luke. Yeah, the defense isn't where it needs to be. I think they're getting open looks. We're over and then we're not committing to shooters. Uh, it's not a very good defense effort so far. Mike, thanks very much for your time. Kevin, back to you. Sorry, I couldn't hear the volume, but we'll be right back here for the second half. Please stand by. Glad you joined us with, this, with us today as we are ready to start the second half of this game. And we are going to take a look at the Greek Freak. He's like destroying it all of a sudden. They're bringing the teams back here again. 19 points, one rebound, and two assists. Well, this is the second half that they're going to come back here and get the game on again. So here we go. The third quarter has started. It's 48-45 as the Bucks trail by three. Here we go. Here's Irving out in the corner of the wing. He will drive inside, and he's fouled by Drew Holiday, his second personal. First team foul will be carried up by uh, Milwaukee with number two in this run. So Kyrie Irving will go back to the free throw line and shoot two once more. 
You know he did once in the first half, but the second half, there might be a solution for them to keep an eye on him. This first shot's good. Sometimes they call Uncle Drew his nickname. Sometimes they call him Kari the, the Uncle Drew Irving. Kari the Drew Irving. Uh, yeah, because he was on a movie that time, you can tell that. Irving makes two free throws here, and then he's got 12. So he made it pass for 11 points, but let's see what his defense has gone into. Middleton outside for three. He doesn't hit that time, and Giannis fighting a rebound here. Double man on him. Steven turns around, the three's good. It's on the Cooper with the, with the assist, and they're down by two. Two on one. Oh, so close. That was gonna be a tough one. The shot would have gone in. This team did not make the lead yet. So it's 6.13 left to go. Irving sets the things down a bit. James Harden slows it down. Griffin right to back to Irving. Irving with a try, and he's fouled again on Drew Holiday. That's his third. Second, third team foul on Milwaukee. 6.03 left right now. And Irving is doing again his first trip to the free throw line. Nice try on that front. But Drew Holiday, he has to watch out because um, he only has three fouls left before he's fouled out until the substitution is coming in for, uh, for Drew Holiday. His first free throw is good. And we talked about it last time in, uh, in game four because Devin Booker was picking up too much fouls here in this game. He has received his fifth foul, and P.J. Tucker, he has also received his fifth foul of the game. So those two guys could be the only, only two that could be fouled out, one of each teams. So, yeah, got to watch them out very carefully at that point, and don't let them get away. 14 points in this game for uh, for Kyrie Irving. Middleton tries again. His shot's good. Only two-pointer here, just picking up, not just enough to get there. Joe Harris gets back into his lane. He finds Blake Griffin. Now he's calling for floppy and one step at a time. Kevin Durant for two. He doesn't hit that one as another miss comes up for Brooklyn. And Andrew Kubo, he's going in. Oh, he just slammed it down. Irving just showed up. But the shot fade was in just a fader. Three, Joe Harris. Another three-pointer for the Brooklyn Nets. And in the second half they go. Oh, the alley-oop that was on Drew Holiday and now the Kupo, he's like showing things off. I think their teams are coming back here again in the Eastern Conference and wanting to take it all again. This is what nobody has ever seen it before. They're just trying to pick it up. So we're down to five minutes. So let's just make another new change here on offense. And let's try to crash the offensive board. Let's just... Um, get the average here, and pick and rolls. Unfortunately, a new change has been called, because we got new players back on the court. Irving and Durant are checked out, as Claxton and Dinwiddie are checked in. Spencer Dinwiddie, he never realized he was going to come up here that fast. Dinwiddie, rolling in. What a great pass here for Blake Griffin. He's got his assist. A big change here, four ties for this game, 10 for an elite change, and uh, I'm not sure what it is. Steven Chenzo, missed around, it's going in and out. Two for Dinwiddie, he doesn't hit that throw, he was wide open, but he was left out alone, not able to find a defender out there. 
Girardi in the corner. He only has received three fouls. On a Kupo. Missed the three. It's another rebound for Blake Griffin. He finds Arden. Over to Dinwiddie for three. Tight release. No foul on Milwaukee. DiVincenzo up. The three's good. It's on to Kupo with another three, another assist. They're tied by 57. This is going to be number five. Joe Harris trying to look around again. He finds Blake Griffin. But now Joe Harris will help him out. He finds Joe Harris. Oh! That's close, but the shot was off. Only about 3.30 left. Another alley -oop. It just gets him a killer out there. And a deer district is going on, it's going crazy here on the uh, Milwaukee side. He finds Nicholas Claxton, and that's a great defense here on Giannis onto the Kupo. Holiday out alone. Sometimes Dinwiddie gets there in time. He finds Claxton. The speed, and the layup doesn't hit at that time. Another three for Holiday. And once again, Milwaukee Bucks are extending the lead, and they have their turn to spread things out. But now this time it doesn't work out that many. Now he finds Dinwiddie. There's a pass and assist by Clint Claxton. Timeout, Milwaukee. With 2.42 left to go. Sometimes the players wants to get things in touch here. Just right at the angle. And they really wanted to do is, I'm going to sub out is Joe Harris. I'm going to go ahead and uh, see what's going to be on the next side of it. Let's go back to man to man so we don't get confused with the two to three zones. Let's get the uh, let's get the series up. I'm going to try to take a C point series, and I need some uh, I need some average here to keep an eye on him. Average two for the rebounds. Only one block, one turnover, two turnovers here. So we got a first turnover on Milwaukee. That picks it up an offensive foul. That was going to be a tough call for them to score. Let's see what the new changes are. It's Portis. Portis will check in for uh, Brooke Lopez. And then on the other side of it, it will be Forbes and P.J. Tucker checking in for Ana Kumpo. Middleton missed the three. Didn't Witty and Claxton have checked out. Green and Brown are checked in. Here's Bruce Brown after receiving the first half with the best scouts to score. All right, and outside, three! Harding! 17 in the game in game number seven. The beard is on is on a roll again. MBB move. Up. I don't know what that stands for. Here's PJ Tucker. His shot won't go in. It's Bruce Brown with the layup with the rebounding save under two minutes. Here's Blake Griffin. Cuts it in right around Portis. And they're up by two. Leading a change here on that score. It's going to be number six for Milwaukee, I mean Brooklyn, for those two teams. Somebody has to cover him on Middleton. Holiday for the two. He ties again at number one. That will be number seven. Chris Middleton receiving another assist here for this game of under 90 seconds. Harris, nobody up. Three, Joe Harris, James. Arden with the first assist. Oh, good show up here. He, Blake Griffin just showed up. And now here is Forbes. He's up. And the shot's good. They're coming in to make a switch here on that run. Number nine with under one minute to go. Bruce Brown trying to work around over Griffin. Griffin right to Harris. He comes up and he's fouled by Chris Middleton. This will be his their third team foul on Milwaukee. First personal is on Chris Middleton. And his time and his time for the season not with undefeatable on the defenseman is over. He has received a foul and he had a mistake. 50.5 seconds and Joe Harris will take two free throws at the free throw line before making new changes here. 
Let's see what they have here. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen to me. Okay, first shot has gone in. And Kyrie Irving will bring back uh, James Harden out and also Blake Griffin out with Kevin Durant. Irving's back on point guard. Same thing that goes with the point forward on Kevin Durant. And Jeff Green to the center. I know Joe Harris is running out of fuel, but um, maybe the next changeup will be on here if there's a next whistle. Look at those guys. Holiday. Try to work our way around, try to look over again, over Bruce, and that is good. He is tied again, it's number 10. 40 seconds to go, Joe Harris trying to work our way around again. Kevin Durant still looking out. Harris moves across the green. Now he goes out to Irving. Irving trying to work our way around with a cut up and over, and that is good. Irving gets 16 points. And just about 20 seconds left here in the in a game clock on period three, quarter number three. And the rebound taken up is Irving. 10 seconds to go. And this will be coming out for Bruce Brown and Green to close it off. With a shot. It doesn't hit it off that time. It, the third quarter is ended. 71 to 69 is your score. We got one quarter left. Can Brooklyn win it all? Or will the Bucks take the advantage to have revenge the Sixers once more to match it again? It's all up next after this break. Let's have a look here at the State Farm Assist of the Game. In Game 7, we are just taking a look right down on the line. And we what do we need to know? It's a good meet match to take Bruce Brown, a first assist here on Jeff Green. I think the rookie player is doing really well. He's going to step into a pro if he gets there in time. So let's see how well he does here for the seventh game of the season. And maybe Joe Harris is not able to pick up his game. I think we are calling for all five franchise teams to make a starting, starting lineups. And this will be a reach on Kevin Durant, his second. And one more block here. That was on the Coupo here in the first half. We talked about that one earlier. And, and how did he do it? Well, it's Giannis. He's like making a move out there. He's just like pulling himself together. They want their team to just go back in the game again and do things over and over. He finds Middleton. And oh, what a great layup here. Another assist here for P.J. Tucker. This will be his first. Another basket for Chris Middleton. Meanwhile, here's Irving. He finds Green. Right over around Joe Harris. He backs over to Bruce Brown. He fights his way back to Harris. He shoots up. And the rebound was knocked out. Here's Holiday. Just trying to work her way around. And he goes up. And he's fouled. Kyrie Irving receives his second personal, second team foul on Brooklyn. And Brooklyn fans do not like that call. This is going to be a very tough matchup here. This is a hard in between the range, in between second and third, third seed. Not sure what they're up to now, but looks like somebody has to go face against the Philadelphia Sixers, my favorite team in the, in the NBA, but they unfortunately lost last time against the Atlanta Hawks. This happened two years ago that the Sixers had played against the Canadian team and this was a hard time for them to make a score out of it. And the buzz beater? Well, let me tell you, it's Kawhi Leonard. But now he's with the Clippers anyway. So let's see how well he does here in the second game. New changes are here. Adekubo and Brooke Lopez. Drew Holiday. Makes two free throws, they're up by two. Irving, making switches here, he finds Bruce Brown. Looks over Irving, and once again, Irving is just receiving a finish drive and has 18 in the night. They're not all tied up here, number 12. Middleton, 
Right on Brown, the steal. Ooh, almost had it. Lopez for three. No good. Another miss here from Milwaukee as they're picking up a miss three in the option. Irving, nobody around. Three! Curry! Irving! All goal true. He picks up 21 in the game. And Giannis trying to show him off. Somebody has to get cover here. Ole with the three. Oh, the putback is on Brooke Lopez. What a save me. And, and Brooke Lopez says, says uh, I got you. I have your ball. And he definitely saved it. Oh, the block was on Brooke or Drew Holiday. I'm not sure who that is. It's Brooklyn ball. They still get it alive. And the Bucks are trying to answer it back to hit it off. Irving's checked in still. As Bruce Brown has checked out as Harden moves back to point guard. And he's all he refueled up and he's back on. Now I need a little motion over here. Harden. Trying to make a two. Oh, couldn't handle it at that point. Another miss here for Brooklyn, and DiVincenzo in the lead. It's off, but rebounded by Irving. James Harden right to Green. He goes right to Durant, back to Harden. Over DiVincenzo. The shot was short. It was slightly early, but not enough for him to make the manage. Oh, it's on to Kupo. He gets a slam. Another assist by Drew Holiday. And they're up by one. Back on Harden. Right to Green. Green trying to work around. Over Brook Lopez. He gets it back. Another one for Irving. And another miss by Burbank. Another miss three. And this is giving them a hard time now with under four minutes. They still got time right now. Here's DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo on Harden. Middleton right to Holiday. Those two guys need some uh, refuel. Need to be refueled up again. DiVincenzo, three seconds to shoot. Middleton up. Just scored! This is giving him a hard time right now, and this is what everyone was thinking. Irving, just short, and it was very early for them to make a fadeaway. No score on that run. Oh, DiVincenzo is on fire. He's like on lockdown today. Durant finds Irving. Aaron Harden. That's good. Way back, with a great pass here for Kevin Durant. 11 on that run for the ties. Lead changes with 15. Brooklyn by six. Here's Steven Chenzo against Harden. Three minutes here. As those guys have already used their timeouts. Steven Chenzo, no choice, but he missed that shot and the lockdown might be healing down a bit. They slow it down. He finds Irving. Green, deep three. But he has to get up close, not far back. Green has only got five in the first half, but the second half was given up a solid hit on that run. Adekupo, missing another three. They're just trying to hit it back. Oh, take away over, Adekupo, another turnover. Lopez up, and they still gotta get a chance. Second try here, take number two. Durant making the two, he's up by two. Four points for Durant. Once two minutes played in the fourth quarter, here's Drew Holiday against Harden. And Drew Holiday seemingly wanted to look around that much. And this one's gonna get in trouble here. On to Kupo, DiVincenzo for three. It's missed. And their time again. It's just gonna be another one to give it all. To tie it, yes! Harden has given up his second time on the board. Timeout on Milwaukee. Wow, we got a great extensive game here on this one. But that is just what they need to get things on the board.
And right now I'm going to sub out Joe Harris. I'm going to uh, bring uh, bring one of those players back in to see what they got here. I know he's getting tired right now, but um, let's get Spencer uh, Dinwiddie on here. Let's get the let's do uh, Bruce Brown. Green out. I'm bringing uh, Lake Griffin back in. I don't know if it's Griffin. Nope. There may not be another one here, but uh, we're going to need to see what DeAndre Jordan can do for the final game. And uh, I don't know about Luama cover out here, but we're just going to see what happens right down there. And there's a chance we can keep an eye on. And we're going to keep the man-to-man -man up here. Crash the offensive board. It looks like Kevin Durant might do it, but this might be hard for him to keep an eye on. And auto is what we need to do with pick and rolls. Time to present the New Balance player of the game. And this one goes out to the Greek Freak. Giannis Antetokounmpo, another one in a row in each game in Game 7. I know. He's not giving up at that point. Well, if he's going to be the Finals MVP, then this is what he's going to do to keep an eye on him, but not for the real Kia, top ladder of the Kia MVP. Only the finals have been bringing up just like it happened. So this is going to be a very tight, tight, intense game on this run. They're not, they're tied up. On the Kupo! Oh, he made it in! And that's going to be a foul on Bruce Brown. Wow, looks like the Deer District is having a fun time out there. You're, you're, you're pretty much having fun out there, being excited. But that is just what they need to do to keep an eye on them. And Bruce Brown receiving his first third team foul on Brooklyn. And Giannis seemingly like he's not, he's out of options to take, uh, to take the dunk, but has no choice but to take the free throw instead. So I know this wasn't very hard enough for him to keep an eye on his scoring, but this isn't what they really want. Let's see which players are back for a rehydration. Let's see what we have. Blake Griffin, I'll bring it back in. Um, James Harden, I'm just gonna let's see what he can just do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move over to uh, Irving and then Dinwiddie and then Harden. Don't worry, I will take out Luwawa Kamara. And then move in to uh, Bruce Brown on the other side. And then we're going to switch it up here, and then we're going to make a new, newer change here, free out actives. Just a bit okay right now. We're just going to see how well they can do. And now here's James Harden with 90 seconds to go. Dinwiddie. In the corner, might be looking hard, but this calls an offensive foul again! And it's just going to be a very hard time. Not to do another illegal screen again. This is giving him a tough moment. A nightmare here has been putting up here for Brooklyn Nets to pick it up. James Harden still looking out around. On Anacupo, finding his DiVincenzo a three, and they got it! They have it all down, and this is going to be an upsetting score for them to bring it up. Griffin for three. Just short, and the rebounding fight was no option. Deer Dushnik is going crazy. And there you go. There's an alley-oop here for Ana de Kupo. They're just extending it on that score. Not able to be out here all alone. I know Dean Dinwiddie Din 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 didn't make it that time, but the deep three, free James Harden. 24 points here on that run. Anakubo, he does it again. And there are no options here. The Deer District is going wild, and looks like they're coming back. Harden making a layup, 38.6 to go. Brooklyn Nets have no choice here to make another move, and they just really wanted to keep an eye on. And DiVincenzo slammed it down, but they have only one option left to do it. 
Bruce Brown missed the three. And that's going to be able to do it for the Bucks to take over. Reach and foul will call on Dingwitty. That will be a fourth team foul on Brooklyn with one on one. He makes that shot. One last change here for the Bucks. As new changing is coming up. Here we got another one here. Nuora. Tunches onto the Kumpo. And, uh, and mm, Jeff Teague, of course. And Nural. Nural? I don't know if I said it right. He makes another one. And that might do it, my friends. That's it for today. It just happened in real life already, but that isn't just what they really want. Dinwiddie, can he get a three? No, that's it. The Bucks are going back to the Eastern Conference Finals to face against the Sixers since last season. And they beat him up already to take another run in this game. So, what an upset that's been bringing out. What a disappointing run for them. Let's go to David Aldridge on the sideline, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Giannis, you dominated the game offensively. What were you seeing out there? You know, I didn't want to take my teammates that they put me in spot uh, to help him be successful. And we just played hard. I'm happy that we got the win. Hey, thanks for your time, man. Go be with your teammates. Back to you, Kevin. Thank, Thank you, DA. Thank you for watching for the realest game here in the second round. We are moving up to the conference finals in between West and East. We are going back to the Western Conference Finals for game number two for the Suns versus the Clippers. And then game one will be the Sixers versus the Bucks at Philadelphia for the first game. So thank you for joining us. If you'd like to check out the real highlights, you could do so by heading to the NBA or search it up for Bucks vs. Nets in, on YouTube. And make sure you keep an eye on for the Bucks. There might be new changes here for uh, Brooklyn Nets for new players to come around. So you don't want to miss that one out there. And also the NBA Draft will be back here until 2021. So thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time for the Eastern and Western Conference of the game. Peace out, bitches, for us a while as a round two semifinals of Eastern and Western of NBA Playoff Dial. We'd like to say thank you, Nets fans, and we can't wait to see them again next season. Anyways, have a great, enjoy, enjoy your day. Bye. probably heard how Tony is so famous. In fact, y'all probably heard how Tony was the greatest. I'm black and proud, honestly, I'm fateless. But y'all whack clown smirk, y'all think I'm faking. But truth be told, y'all turds, y'all just hate. And y'all yearn for rooms of the gold in my rankings. All y'all fakest, haters, traitors, y'all are Satan. Y'all keep saying y'all will make it, I'm still waiting.